If you're thinking about putting a metal roof on your house, you may want to call your insurance company and find out what little surprise they would have planned for you if you do that. Or you can watch this video and I'll explain it to you right now. Now, a lot of people ask me about metal roofs because they want to know what I think of them. They want to know if I think they should put a metal roof on their house. When I ask them, why do you want a metal roof? Usually the answer is because I want a roof that's going to last forever, especially here in Colorado where we get a lot of hail. Now, a lot of homeowners think that a metal roof is indestructible. They think that hail just isn't going to damage their metal roof. Well, that's just not true. And I'm going to explain that a little bit later in the video. But here's a dirty little secret that homeowners typically don't know about when it comes to a metal roof. And it has to do with what type of insurance coverage you can get for your metal roof. Now, metal roofs are usually quite a bit more expensive than just your standard asphalt shingle roof. And you would think that if a metal roof is so much more impact resistant and so much less susceptible to hail damage, then the insurance companies would be incentivizing people to have metal roofs put on their houses. By doing that, the insurance companies would then be reducing the number of claims that people are making for hail damage, thereby reducing the amount of money that an insurance company has to pay out on those claims. And to a degree, some insurance companies have offered homeowners incentives to have metal roofs installed or just roofs that are more impact resistant. But since metal roofs are quite a bit more expensive and insurance companies know that metal roofs can be damaged by hail, insurance companies have quietly implemented some changes in policy coverage for homeowners that have metal roofs. Here's how they do it. Number one, they give you full replacement cost coverage for a certain number of years. Then once that number of years has expired, they move you to a prorated actual cash value coverage. That means that once your full coverage period has expired, then every year after that, you're going to receive less and less money if you have to file a claim for a roof replacement. For example, one insurance company has their full coverage period set at 20 years. Then in year 21, you're going to start receiving a prorated amount less than full coverage every year after that. So like in year 21, you're only going to receive 79% of your full coverage amount. And then it just keeps going down every year after that. Well, now you might think, well, that's not too much of a problem because I don't even expect to be in my house for the next 20 years. But what about the next person that buys your house or even the person after that? If you've got your house for sale and a buyer comes along and then that buyer realizes that he's not going to be able to have full coverage insurance after a certain number of years, or maybe he's not even able to get full coverage insurance right out of the gate. Do you think that's possibly going to affect the sale price of your house? Or do you think that might even affect your ability to sell the house at all? So here's the second thing that some insurance companies are doing right from the start. They're not even writing policies with full replacement cost coverage for homes with metal roofs. That means that you don't ever have a full replacement cost coverage period at all, ever. If you have a hailstorm that damages your metal roof, you're gonna have a much larger share of the cost of repairing or replacing the roof in addition to the cost of your deductible. Oh, and speaking of deductibles, I'm going to explain something that's even more shocking to you in just a minute. You might be willing to have reduced coverage on your roof. You might be willing to accept that risk, but what about any future potential buyers of your house? What if they don't want to accept that risk? Again, is that going to affect your ability to sell your house. So the third thing that some insurance companies are doing for homeowners, maybe I should say two homeowners that have houses with metal roofs is they're writing their policies with what's called cosmetic exclusions. So what that means is that if there is a storm that causes hail damage to your metal roof, but it doesn't actually penetrate through the roofing material or cause leaks or something like that, then they're going to consider that cosmetic damage and not functional damage. And they're not going to pay to replace your roof. So what that means for you is 
If you get a major hailstorm and it dents up your roof and it leaves it looking like the surface of the moon, your insurance company may not pay for it. And in fact, an insurance agent told me they call this their Titleist coverage. Titleist, like the Titleist golf ball. So if your metal roof looks like the surface of a golf ball, you don't get paid for it. You might be tempted to think, well, if there's no functional damage, why should I really even care about it? You may not care about it. But again, when you go to sell your house, eventually, any potential buyers that come, when they see the, that the roof is all dented up and looks like a golf ball, are they going to want to buy it? If they don't notice it and their home inspector gets up on the roof and he sees it, are they going to ask you to replace the roof as part of the sale of the house? If they do, guess who gets to pay for it? not your insurance company, that would be you. So remember just a minute ago, I told you that I was going to tell you about something shocking that insurance companies are doing with their deductibles. No, your deductibles. Well, this is something that they're doing, again, kind of quietly. They're raising your deductible amounts. Well, what that means for you is that you, if you file a claim, then to get the repairs done or the roof replaced, you're gonna have a much bigger share of the cost of doing that. One of the major carriers used to have all of their people at what I'll call a flat rate deductible, and that was $500. So everybody had a $500 deductible. Then they raised everybody to a $1,000 deductible. Then a few years later, they raised everybody to a $1,500 deductible. But what's happening in the industry is that a lot of insurance companies are getting away from flat rate deductibles and they're moving to percentage deductibles. So that company that moved their clients from 500 to 1,000 to 1,500 dollar deductibles, now they're moving their clients to 1% deductibles. What that means is that instead of having a flat rate deductible, your deductible is now tied to the value of your home. A 1% deductible means that you have a deductible that is equal to 1% of your home value. If you have a house that's worth $500,000 this year, your deductible is going to be $5,000 if you have a 1% deductible. Next year, your house probably is going to be worth more. Let's assume that your house is worth $520,000. Next year, your deductible is going to be $5,200. So instead of having that nice flat rate deductible that you could count on, your deductible is going to go up every year. But wait, it gets even worse. Another major carrier is starting to implement 2% deductibles across the board. So if you have that same $500,000 house, your deductible is going to be $10,000. Think about this. If the average roof costs $15,000 to replace and you have a $10,000 deductible, your insurance company is going to be paying less for you to replace your roof than you're going to be paying. But if you have a house with a metal roof, the chances are pretty good that you live in a more upscale showcase or luxury home. So your home value is going to be a lot higher. So what if you have a one and a half million dollar house or a $2 million house and you have a 1% or a 2% deductible, you're gonna to have to dig really deep into your pockets if you file a claim for a roof replacement. But I'm not asking you to take my word for any of this. So if you're considering putting a metal roof on your house, before you do, I'm gonna suggest that you call your insurance agent and ask your agent what the policy coverage would be if you put a metal roof on your home. Chances are, you're gonna be pretty shocked at what you find out. Hey, you made it all the way to the end of the video. That must mean that you liked it. I think that you're gonna like this one too. So give this one a click. Until our next video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.